Labadina, and thank you for joining me on the next episode of making this rustic bed. So let's continue. Next step is to make uh, a headboard. So I have this log dedicated for that purpose, but I'm thinking to cut it lengthwise so the headboard would look a bit lighter and also I would like to gain more width out of this piece. So bandsaw is the only tool for this job. The problem is though that this log doesn't have any straight edge to ride against the table of the bandsaw. So I guess, first of all, I have to create that reference surface. <laughs> There's a bit of a problem. This end of the beam not gonna fit into the bandsaw. So I adjusted the sky drill and now I just have to remove all the extra material from the beam and we should be good to go. So now I have to create tenons on both ends of these boards, but they are very uneven, so I will have to come up with some sort of a system to do it properly. So this facial side is done, now I can utilize this flat surface for making the other side parallel to it. The headboards are done, now I have to make slots in these posts. See how it looks together? The frame is more or less complete and the next step will be to make it a bit more aesthetically appealing. So I've rented this brushing machine to help me with that. This tool improves three main characteristics in wood. First of all, it cleans it up, it removes all the dirt and loose parts. Second thing, it knocks down the splinters and sharp corners. And lastly, it brings the wood texture. But first things first, let's take the frame apart. Time for a glue up.
So now I have to create holes for these bolts so the whole frame could be taken into apartment in pieces and assembled in the bedroom. I think I'm gonna change the plan and I will switch to the hole saw, mainly because these slots are a bit too small and there's not enough wiggle room for the key. So this should work better. The frame seems to be strong and sturdy. I guess it's about time to make a grid to support the mattress. As you can see, the whole bed is apart again, and that's because there's one last thing left to do, and it's to all the whole thing. So this bed is finally complete. As you can see, I've added two more stretchers uh, because there's no way this 12 mm ply would have hold. So this time I made these stretchers out of uh, plywood uh, just to create some flex uh, for the mattress. I think this should work. Well, anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.